Hi, I'm Daryl Johnston. You may know me as The Moose, a former Dallas Cowboy, or an analyst on Fox NFL Sunday. But one thing you may not know is that I'm a Verizon Literacy Champion. That's why I know that no one understands better than you the impact the ability to read makes on a person's life. That's why you have dedicated your lives and your work to furthering literacy. Every day, you and your organization help people discover that reading gives them the power to succeed. Together with Verizon, I want to salute you and the work you do through a special program that recognizes the people you serve. It's called Moose's Reading Power Players. I would like you to select a child, a family, and an adult learner to be recognized for achieving the power to succeed through literacy. Each of my Reading Power Players receives a set of gifts that include a certificate, a video, and an autographed football. But the best gift is a book. I chose the books we're giving to children, families, and adults because these are the ones that have special meaning to me and have made an impact on my life. The fun and discovery of knowing how to read all started for me with Curious George, that pesky little monkey who was filled with a spirit of adventure. He made me laugh as a kid, and I still get a kick out of his story. Learning to read is a lot like the adventures Curious George has had. It's not easy, and along the way we all make some mistakes. But then there is that wonderful day when you open up a book and you can read every word. Once I got to elementary school, I could really relate to Judy Bloom's Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Anyone with a little baby brother or sister can relate to Peter's struggle to be noticed and to be important in his family. Not knowing how to read is a struggle, and a lot of people will not pay attention to you if you do not know how to read. Learning to read gets you noticed in a really good way, and reading gives you the power to make your own way. As I grew up to play football, I became known as a power player. And as a football player, one book that meant a lot to me was The Life of Vincent Lombardi. It's called When Pride Still Mattered. Lombardi was the coach of the Green Bay Packers in the 1960s, and he turned a team that could do nothing but lose into a team that could do nothing but win. Back-to-back -back NFL titles in 1961 and 1962, and Super Bowl champs in 1966 and 1967. What Lombardi did took guts and determination, and he was a legend of strength and his drive to succeed. Learning to read takes guts and determination, especially if you are learning as an adult. It takes real courage, but when you succeed, you discover that reading is the pow and power. Recently, my favorite book has also been about a legend of courage and strength. In Laura Hillebrand's book about Seabiscuit, I read the story of a horse they all thought was a loser, a kid they all thought was a loser, and a man who had lost his son and almost lost his way in life. These unlikely heroes came together, along with a horse trainer folks thought was half crazy, and they did what everyone thought they could not do. They won. I believe that when people succeed in learning to read, they win in life. That's why I'm a Verizon Literacy Champion. And that's why I want to recognize the achievement of learning to read. I am proud to join with Verizon to support your work for literacy through Moose's Reading Power Players. I want to thank you for your dedication to improving literacy in your community. Your efforts are literally changing people's lives, giving them new opportunities, and a powerful ability to shape their futures through literacy. I salute you, and I know you agree that reading is the POW in power.